It smells brilliant and I'm sure it's going to taste good. So I'm just going to give this a try. Mmm. That's really yummy. Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make an egg and parma ham stir fry quinoa. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a really delicious bacon and egg stir fry quinoa. This recipe is really easy and I think this would make a really lovely breakfast for a lover or a friend on Valentine's Day. Um, I've decided to make it today for my breakfast and I can't wait because it's just me eating it. So the portion size is only for one in this recipe, but if you wanted to double up or triple up or quadruple up, then you could. So the first thing I did was I soaked some quinoa overnight in a bowl well I washed it first actually and then I soaked it and then I drained it and then I put it into here and I added some bone broth to that and I just simply boiled it until all of the liquid has disappeared it's only just finished boiling as well so that's why it's still steaming there um, and I have done a recipe on how to cook brown rice um, and I will link that in the description box below for you because it's exactly the same way I cook quinoa and I find that if I cook the quinoa that way it works out as well as it does when I cook brown rice it's just as tasty so I always think to myself I'm going to cook it the way I cook brown rice um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, lot, I've put a large pan and I'm going to put that onto a high heat on my hob and I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to the base of that pan and then to the, I'm going to leave this pan to heat up but before I go I just want to say that if you have enjoyed this video today and you would like to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions about this video then please feel free to leave them in the comments section below I love hearing from you and I love answering your questions and if you did really enjoy this video today then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up everything like that really helps me out and I would really appreciate it so as I said I'm just going to leave Leave this pan to heat up. The pan is getting nice and hot now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two slices of parma ham that I've just simply sliced so I'm just going to add those to the bottom of the pan and I'm just going to fry these for a few minutes until they start to get some colour into them and uh, start to look a nice golden brown colour. The parma ham has started to colour nicely. If you can't get parma ham for this recipe, then you can always use bacon. And then what I've done is I've sliced two spring onions. So I've topped and tailed the spring onions and I've just simply sliced it into sort of half centimetre pieces. And I'm just going to add the spring onions to the base of the pan. I'm going to fry these until these start to soften with the bacon. If the bacon starts to stick, then you can use a little bit of water in the base of the pan as well, just to get everything to stop sticking on the base of the pan. And I'm also going to turn the heat down a little bit, because that's getting a little bit too hot there. So as I said, I'm just going to continue to fry the spring onions until they start to soften. Spring onions have started to soften so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in about a quarter of a red pepper to the base of the pan. Uh, you can use green pepper for this, you could use yellow pepper as well or orange pepper if you wanted to. The colour isn't exactly important, it's just nice to have a few vegetables in your breakfast I think. You could also have this meal as a dinner or even a lunch as well. This would make a really nice lunch to have. And you can leave this to cool completely and put it in the fridge and you could take it with you the next day. I wouldn't leave it any longer than a day though, to be honest. I think food, food needs to be cooked fresh, but if you wanted to take this as a packed lunch, then you could. So I'm just going to continue to fry the red pepper now until this starts to soften. You don't have to have it completely soft. 
but slightly soft I think is good for me but if you prefer crunchy vegetables then you could just fry it until it heats through. So the peppers have started to soften. It's only taken a few minutes, but they have started to soften. If you wanted the peppers to soften for longer, then you obviously leave them in the pan for longer, but your bacon will go a lot crispier or your parma ham will go a lot crispier. So just be careful of that. Wasting parma ham by throwing it over the side, that's no good, is it? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the quinoa. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because it's still a bit too hot. I'm going to add the quinoa to the mixture here. And then I'm going to crack some eggs into a cup. And I'm going to add the egg in like you would with a stir fry rice, basically. So I'm just going to fry this now and mix everything in. Make sure everything's well mixed together. And then I'm going to go and get my eggs. It's the one thing you I've forgotten to put out. Silly me. So I'm just going to remove this from the heat and I'm going to go get my eggs and I will fry the eggs in. I've got some eggs and I've just scrambled them in the cup. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them to the pan and I'm going to mix them into the quinoa until the egg is cooked, basically. So I'm going to continue to fry this egg until it's mixed in with the quinoa and it's all cooked. So everything is cooked and as a finishing touch, I'm just going to add in some tamari. So you could add soya sauce if you haven't got tamari. Tamari is just a soya sauce that's fermented for longer. So I'm just gonna add that in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some salt and some pepper as well to taste. So salt and pepper to taste. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper as well. And that, my friends, is my breakfast done. And I'm really looking forward to this. It smells fantastic, I have to say. I have served up, I've put it into a bowl and I just thought I'd give it a try to let you know how it tastes. It smells fantastic. I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but honestly, it smells brilliant and I'm sure it's going to taste good. So I'm just gonna give this a try. Mm. That's really yummy. What would have been really nice in here as well, if you have got it, is some, just some spinach, just thrown in at the end and let it wilt down. I would have thrown some spinach in here, but unfortunately I don't have any today. So that's why there's no spinach, but that is delicious. It's really tasty. You can taste the spring onion and the parma ham and they really complement each other. And the egg works really well. It's just bound everything together. So yes, I'm really looking forward to my breakfast. That's how you make my delicious egg and parma ham stir fry quinoa. And that recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be having this for my breakfast this morning. And it smells and tastes so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.